So this guitar review will look at this rather strange and unusual beast. This is a Parker P6EB. Now of course Ken Parker set up the business that made the Parker Fly and all those sort of very exotic innovative um, pieces of kit. He was always closely associated with Larry Fishman of Fishman Electronics and um, in around about 2005 after actually Parker had, had departed the company and sold it on they for a short while produced some acoustic guitars um, I had one of the original ones which was an acoustic version and then I got this one which is the um, the performance model and this has got some very um, interesting innovations. First of all, the basic piece of kit, spruce top, mahogany back and sides, uh, three piece neck, uh, also mahogany, ebony bridge, ebony fingerboard. Um, it's got um, some Grover uh, machine heads which are the uh, the 14 to 1 ratio so they are very very good at fine tuning volute nice little volute at the back there just to give it that strength operates through a zero fret which makes the uh, the action very low the neck is a beautiful smooth almost electric feel to it um, and it's relatively thin this one's about eight centimetres, 80 millimetres thick, and you'd expect that it would therefore lose a bit of acoustic performance. Whilst I use this because of the amazing electronics in it, more of which later, it is acoustically quite a good machine. <laughs> Picks quite well as well. And the strings are quite narrow. When you get to the electrics, you've got a Fishman humbucker here, hum cancel uh, pickup here, and you've got the underbridge, the acoustic matrix, um, based on a 25.5 inch scale length. Really, really outstanding electrics, and unusually, you've got the choice of either the usual quarter inch jack or an XLR output. So if you are going straight to a PA, XLR, don't need a DI box, away you go. And I'm not going to plug it in because I don't think you'll get the, the full effect of it, but trust me, it is a fantastic instrument plugged in. I use it as a stage guitar. It's easy to carry, um, it plays well, it holds tune well, and the electrics, you've got the usual, this is the volume, and then here you've got a blend and you've got two other controls, one for the, uh, to set the levels for the two pickups. Um, and that's the blend and there's the volume. To be honest, all the sounds are pretty good. So there we have it. Quite unusual and now actually quite treasured. People uh, are fetching these. I, I bought this um, in the States 
relatively cheaply some years ago, but now the prices are going up, and quite rightly, they don't make them anymore, but it's a very, very, very good electroacoustic, and it holds its own as a straightforward acoustic. So there you have it, the Parker P6E for electrics, for its performance model, and B because it's this black finish, which was quite unusual, I think, um, but you do see them about. Um, they made also a natural uh, finish one, which I think was called the, um, the P6EN. But uh, there you go, a Parker acoustic, um, and they are very good, and if you see one, and it's a decent price, I would strongly advise buying them, because I think not only are they excellent machines, they will maintain their value. Okay, thank you for watching.